So to start with, we're going to go into Messages and start a new Messages as you usually would. And at the bottom, you'll see you have the option to choose the stickers. That's the ones with all the heads. When you go into that, uh, you can obviously select lots and lots of stickers in here that you can choose from. But obviously, we're going to focus on the Memoji sticker with the laptop and then we can create. So once we're into the Memoji sticker section, obviously, we can start creating our own. Uh, so we can go to a new Memoji and you can start from scratch and, and be as creative as you like in here. Have whoever you want in the background. But that's just to make the Memoji. Once you've made your Memoji, you will have access to the Memoji character with the laptop. And that's kind of where we're going to start. So if I go to my uh, my baseball capped character, here we go, here's the Memoji with my laptop. Now, a couple of ways you can do this. You can send the Memoji to yourself and then take a screenshot and use it. Um, the, a quick and simple way is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this page and I'm just going to crop out all the other Memoji just so I've got the one left that I want to use. I'm just going to save that then to my photos. So now I have access to that in my photos. Now I'm going to go into Keynote, my favorite design tool in order for doing these things. Go to Plus, go to the photos. In Recents, there's my Memoji. Now I'm a little bit fussy about things like this, so I'm actually going to change the background of my slide as well to match uh, the colour of the background of my Memoji, so go to colour, uh, choose the pen tool and just colour it all in. You don't need to do that, I'm just a bit fussy. Okay, so here's my Memoji with my laptop unstickered and I want to start to add in some stickers. Now the process is, is pretty easy, it's just layering using other images. So I'm going to go to my media library, go to photos and videos and uh you know let's say i'm gonna i love i love some apps okay so i love sphero so i'm gonna stick a sphero sticker on so i tap on the paintbrush uh, tap on image instant alpha out the bits that i don't want um you know because i want it to look more like a sticker and not have all those white bits on the edge and then you go there we go i've got my first simple sticker that I can arrange on the page, make bigger, make smaller. Now, one thing I found when I was creating this the other day was they look a bit flat like that. So I've just been turning the style and turning on uh, shadow just to have it stand out a little bit from the screen. And you can just continue through that whole process and just add things in. Um, I've got some other um, logos that I, I use um, that I might like to add in. So if I find them here, uh, we're in RTC. So I think that would be nice to have that on my on my laptop. I don't actually have any of these stickers, which would be great if I did. Um, so same process, just turn the turn the shadow onto it, place that as if it's just a sticker actually going onto my laptop. I'll put that up there, and and so on and so forth. Just continue to build. Now the other thing that you can do as well is if you want to get things from the internet, um, obviously you can. If you're going to be using this publicly just be wary of a couple of things um i like i like nintendo you know i play on nintendo um i what i've tried to find is images that are on google that are able to be shared so labeled for reuse you'll see that there so if i tap on the transparent ones uh you know i quite like that uh the pipe that mario comes up through i think that'll look quite funky on my laptop in fact i again i do have a, a mushroom head on mine um so i can just drag that across drop knowing that I've, I've found the ones that were labelled for, for reuse. Um, and then, again, instant alpha out, some of that white. Tap done. A couple of other things that you can do, which I thought was quite fun, if you choose the, the outline one, again, it can look like a, a sticker in, in its own right as well. Change the width, etc. of how wide you want that, but it does kind of make it stand out on your laptop or on your image of the laptop. Um, and... Again, I think I might turn the shadow on on that. And then again, just place that on the screen. You'll see, you know, with that white background, it, it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more as well. So there we go, how to decorate your own Memoji laptop sticker.